Hey guys, I want to wrap up where I was last time, but I want to address the whole idea of mindset with a plan. A uh, long time ago when I was a young man in Charleston, West Virginia, I was a, you know, I was a Golden Glove champion. And it's like, before you went out in the, uh, to fight, you was in the locker room and did, like you'd be getting ready. You'd be getting all your, you'd be doing all this stuff, getting ready. But you'd be getting your mind right. Because when you went out there, it wouldn't matter if you was going to win. You was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this fight no matter what. But I had to go out there with a plan and my mind had to be right. I had to go out with the mindset that I'm going to win. And that's the same approach that you have to take when you go out to accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish with your life. When it comes to your gifts, whatever those gifts are, that, that happened to be one of my gifts. I was a good boxer. I was a South Pole. I could notice my hands are where they're supposed to be. And it's like, you've got to do the same thing in life. When life throws punches at you and you get hit, you've got to hit back. But in order to hit back, you've got to have a plan. And that's the big problem that, you, that a lot of people have. A lot of people's mindset is off. They don't think they could do it. And so what I want you to start with, as I was saying before, is that if you don't have a lot of money, that's fine. You can just go out and get you a $2, two, $3 composition notebook. And in the front of the notebook, I want you to put down the goals that you want to accomplish over the next 12 months. You started out in the, in the present tense. I am going to... And, I want this, or I want to come. It's like, you want to start with I am, and then you go ahead and, and, and write those things down. But then you've got to ask yourself, what is your chief aim in life based on the talents and the super gift that God has placed in you? You want to write this down in your composition notebook, put it in the front, and then from there, you want to review those every day over the next 12 months. Write those down and make sure that you're reviewing them, and then setting goal, daily goals, towards those things that you want to accomplish. And that means that if you, even if, if you're at a job that you don't like, but you're bringing in money, I'm not saying quit that job. I'm saying go to work, do the work, but when you come home, don't just eat and go to sleep. You go upstairs and start working on your plan in your composition notebook and the books that you read. I've got a number of books on Bernard H. Hamilton. I want you to consider those books so that you can get in your head the things that you need to get in your head to get off of, uh, to get off of where you are right now because you're stuck, to get you out of there. Now, when it comes to uh, your mind, if you don't have your mind right, you've got to get to the place to where you have self-affirmations and you say to yourself, I like me. I am a successful business person. I, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. I am successful in almost anything that I do. You want to write those things down and you want to review those every day before you get out of the house and knowing that you're going to, you're going to be a winner and you're going to be a conqueror as time goes by. But you want to get to the place to where you don't want to be stuck in your life. You want to make sure that you're, you're moving forward and so that you can, you can fight the good fight and win the battles as you get your mind right based on the plan that you have so that you can knock those problems out. So this is Bernard Hamilton. As always, walk with the king and be a blessing.